Mother's Day had always been special. This year, I wanted to make it extraordinary. The scent of freshly brewed coffee and warm cinnamon rolls filled the kitchen as I prepared breakfast for my mom. It was early morning, and the house was quiet, save for the occasional creak of the old wooden floors. My heart swelled with anticipation, imagining the smile on her face. Happy Mother's Day, we cheered as we entered her room, but the smile I expected from her was absent. She sat up slowly, her eyes bleary and unfocused. The room smelled faintly of lavender from her diffuser, a scent that usually calmed me but now seemed oddly out of place. Thank you, girls, she mumbled, forcing a smile. There was something off in her voice, a tremor that sent a chill down my spine. I brushed it off as grogginess and handed her the tray. After breakfast, we decided to visit the family cabin by the lake, hoping a change of scenery would lift her spirits. The scent of pine and fresh earth filled the car as we drove through the winding forest roads, but instead of feeling invigorated, it made my stomach churn. When we arrived at the cabin, it looked different, darker, more foreboding. The once welcoming home now seemed to loom over us with an air of silent menace. The musty smell of the unused cabin hit us as we opened the door. It was a sharp contrast to the clean, fresh air outside. We settled in, trying to make the best of it. Mom seemed more distant, her eyes often drifting to the window as if expecting something or someone. Lily and I kept exchanging worried glances, but neither of us dared to voice our concerns. In the afternoon, we decided to take a walk by the lake. The path was lined with wildflowers, their sweet scent doing little to mask the underlying smell of damp earth and decaying leaves. The sky was overcast, the air thick with impending rain. Do you remember the last time we were here? Mom asked suddenly, her voice barely above a whisper. There was a haunted look in her eyes that made my heart skip a beat. Of course, I replied, trying to sound cheerful. We had a picnic and swam in the lake. It was fun. She nodded absently, her gaze fixed on something far away. The wind picked up, carrying a faint but unmistakable scent of something rotten. That evening, the rain started. It came down in sheets, the sound hammering against the roof. The power flickered, then went out completely, plunging us into darkness. We lit candles, their flickering flames casting eerie shadows on the walls. Mom sat by the window, staring into the storm. The smell of burning wax mixed with the musty air, creating a nauseating combination. I approached her, my heart pounding in my chest. Mom, are you okay? She turned to me, her eyes filled with tears. I'm sorry, she whispered. I'm so sorry. Before I could ask what she meant, a loud crash came from the basement. Lily screamed and I felt a surge of cold fear. The smell of damp earth and something metallic filled the air, making it hard to breathe. What was that? Lily asked, her voice trembling. I'll go check, I said, though every fiber of my being screamed at me to stay put. I grabbed a flashlight and headed to the basement door. The basement smelled of mold and decay, the air thick and suffocating. As I reached the bottom, the light revealed a scene that made my blood run cold. The ground was disturbed, as if something or someone had been digging. And then I saw it, a small old wooden box, partially uncovered. My hands shook as I opened it revealing a collection of trinkets and old photographs. The smell of rot was overpowering. Among the items was a note in my mom's handwriting. It read, forgive me. I heard footsteps behind me and turned to see mom, her face pale and drawn. I had to, she said, her voice hollow. He wouldn't leave us alone. Who, I asked, fear tightening my throat. Your father, she replied, tears streaming down her face. He's buried here. The realization hit me like a punch to the gut. The rotting smell, the dug up ground, it all made sense now. My father had disappeared years ago and we never knew why. Now I understood. The ground shifted and a skeletal hand emerged from the earth. I screamed, dropping the flashlight. The light flickered, casting grotesque shadows as the hand reached for me. 
Run, Mom shouted, pulling me towards the stairs. We scrambled up, slamming the door behind us. The house shook as something pounded on the basement door, the smell of decay seeping through the cracks. We huddled together, the rain pounding outside, the smell of fear and rot filling the air. The storm raged on, but eventually the pounding stopped. Silence fell, broken only by our ragged breaths. Morning came, and with it a fragile sense of safety. We left the cabin, never to return. Mother's Day, once a day of joy and celebration, had become a day of horror and regret. The memories and the smell of decay would haunt us forever.